Are there scriptures to share with your husband to nudge him into leading his household? Okay. If he is a believer or professes to be a believer, then uh, if he's not leading his household, then I would go to him in love privately uh, with your motive of wanting to help him and restore him. And I would just say, sweetheart, you're not leading the family in the area of finances or the whatever it is. And um, then I would use scripture. You can find scripture to back that up. And it, it's a sin if he's not leading his family. So treat it as a sin issue. If he doesn't repent, then I would uh, ask if he would be willing to go with you to speak to one of the pastors or one of the men counselors at the church. Let him, if the husband disagrees with you, um, then let, offer to go with him so that the counselor, the pastor, whoever's counseling them, can hear both sides of the story and tell you both what you need to work on or what you're doing wrong. And, uh, but then if he refuses that, then I would consider it, if it's a serious <laughs> issue, I would consider it a Matthew 18 issue, bringing other witnesses with you, and not your mother and your sister, <laughs> but men, godly men in the church who love him. And you be the witness, you give the facts, don't exaggerate them, and then, um, you know, try to help him. And then if he doesn't repent, if it's really, if it's a problem, then I would go to the elders in the church, the pastors, and um, ask them to uh, investigate the matter and decide if public discipline is um, appropriate. If he's an unbeliever, you, the only thing you can pretty much do is appeal to his conscience to do what's right, but not use, don't use any scripture with an unbeliever. We win him without a word. <laughs>